someone in the chat says, um, is waiving an inspection worth the risk? But I think you kind of mentioned it. If you know for sure, you know the structural, you know, how how houses are built, I guess, then it's not really a risk for you. Like I waive, I, I never take an inspection because nine out of 10 times, I know I'm going to do everything all over anyway. Oh, wow. So it's just like whether, you know, I know that most of the properties that I buy, I rip everything out anyway. So I'm going to catch it anyway. But what is, it's, is there something like a structural issue or something like that, that's maybe would break the budget for you or something where you'd be like, wow, I wish I had caught that. Has that ever happened to you? No, um, because my margins are like my ratios. I I, I just try to steal properties. Like I don't, <laughs> I you know, like I get stuff. The only stuff that I'm interested in buying is stuff that I'm getting so cheap that I can't lose no matter what. So even if the foundation is messed up, the exactly. margin is so good that it's still worth the deal for you. Exactly. You know, um, during the pandemic, I got I got hit with you know holding stuff in the extra year. But the margins were so good to begin with that, it, you know, I still made money, you know, and I didn't make as much money that, as I would have, but nonetheless, it still turned out to be profitable. But had I, had I been um, purchasing at a 20, 10 or 20% margin, you know, there's no, um, there's no winning there. There's no wiggle room really for you to, not, to have like a incorrect estimate on, uh, you know, how much you're. Exactly. The rehab is going to cost. Exactly. All right. Ola Deji has a question. Unmute yourself, please. Hey, good evening. Hey, what's going on, brother? Good, good. So these margins you're getting, uh, like my concern is, you know, I'm not like a guru with homes. I'm, I just have, we have one investment property. So my thing is, are you, with these deals, with these high margins, are you, are, and I and I understand you obviously have all this knowledge and wisdom and understanding of the market, but with the deals you're getting, is it with cash? Is that why your margins are so good in this market still that you're still able to get, you know, properties at such a discount? Is because you're you're coming to the table basically no. getting cash offers? Uh, to be honest with you, um, I'm getting these margins and I'm getting these deals because of relationships, you know, um, based basically the time that I've had in the business, um, relationships I've made, referrals that I do, people that owe me favors. So when there's a deal that, you know, I, I get first dib, you know, my my broker that, I, um, that I've let sell many of properties, so, you know, she sold many properties. So if there's an opportunity to give a deal, she's going to give it to me because she knows she's going to get paid twice. She's going to get it. She's going to make money when I, when I buy them property and she's also going to make money when I sell the property. Mm. So, gotcha. so again, um, I don't, I don't do a lot of deals. I probably do one or two a year because mm because I sit and I wait for my pitch. So that's the, that's the hard part of this game sometimes is, uh, is just being patient. But then again, as I said, this works for me because um, I have my portfolio, I have other streams of income, you know, I've been doing this for a while. So um, I'm set up where I could just wait, wait for that one deal, you know? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, um, last year I did a deal where where I purchased property for a million, excuse me, for two million. I put a million dollars into it, and now that property that I'm I'm in for three million is worth five point five. So, um, you know, with with a spread like that, you know, um, when even if I lost lost um, a lot of time and energy over COVID, um, it's all right. You know, I, yeah. I, I yeah. That one more one more question. Thank you for sharing. Um, so for a novice, right? And you're and you're getting and you're trying to get a deal and you're not like super crafty with like homes and, and assessor homes. Like what should we look for if we if we consider trying to bypass inspection? Uh what 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 visible things, what physical things can we assess on our own? And after that, what is still up in the air after that? Um, Oladaji, what I would suggest, you know, like I would not suggest this if you're not um, skilled in this to take this chance, yeah. unless unless it is a steal of steel, unless you know for a fact that um, that this property is uh, is so far below value that even worst case scenario you can still make money. Again, um, like waiving an inspection contingency 
is something that I would only um, give to suggest to somebody who has plans on doing a gut rehab anyway. Got it. Maybe, I mean, one time I brought my contractor with me to look at a house. So it was before the official inspection. Yeah. But However, yeah. that might be something that yeah. could possibly help if you have someone that you trust that has a good eye, knows, really knows houses. Yeah. And maybe just pay them for their time. It's an unofficial inspection, I guess. Yeah, it's an unofficial inspection. Like you, you'll see um, little things, you know. One of the things that, that I'm big on, especially if I'm buying something that's newly renovated, right? um like so i look for see how sharp the night how sharp the 90 degree angles are like how straight the walls are right and um uh, like i'm that i'm that dude when i'm looking when i come to your house you better not leave me by myself because i'm that dude that's going to be pulling up your carpet just to see what's under there i'm that dude that's <laughs> I'm, that, I'm that dude that walks around with a screwdriver in my hand um that that pokes that pokes a hole in their back wall to see if there's insulation on it <laughs> you, know, wow. you know don't leave don't don't leave me unattended <laughs> <laughs> i hear that i you hear know? that thanks and, so much and funny enough um like me poking holes me poking holes in people's back walls um i i also learned to never buy from um from from people who flip like mm. because people who flip they cut corners because i've never i've never found installation in a, in a back wall of of a house of a flipper somebody who bought the house six months six months ago three months ago um and it's already on the market they didn't put the installation in the back wall that's a fact actually my house is a flip and i had to do, put in blown in insulation especially yeah. on my first floor because the walls literally was like yeah the heat was not staying in there. <laughs> I had to add actually more baseboards. Um, they kind of cut corners in certain places too with the baseboard heating. Yeah, uh, because um, uh, what do you call it? Um, like developers are scumbags. You know, not me though. <laughs> 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 you know, like um, like anything inside the wall, you have to you have to assume that they did it the cheapest way. Like me myself. <laughs> Um, one of the reasons why I make sure that I put insulation in the wall and I use I use the metal, you know, metal pipe instead of plastic pipe is because I'm a firm believer that um, like you make some you you make something that in the event you have to keep it, you're all right keeping it. You know, like I there's been you know very early in my career I sold property uh, excuse me I, I bought property and I fixed it. And um, during the time that it took me to fix, it was a situation like the times that we, are, we have right now when there's a lot of ambiguity in the market and the market shifted and um, prices, the prices has dropped, had dropped dramatically, but I had to get rid of this property because I knew the, the corners that I, had, that I had cut. But had I, you know, like the way I move now, um, I know that every property that I, I worked on is 100% solid. So if the market flips and I can't get my price today, I could just hold it and rent it and know that I'll get my price tomorrow. 